Hello and welcome to Warblog. Today we're looking at an older game, um, the fourth game that I put together, the Battle of Alassé. Um, essentially I've modified a few things, um, updated a few bits and pieces, nothing major really. The, um, the French and Afghan forces are essentially tasked with putting in a couple of bases along the sort of valley uh, which has basically been previously uncontested uh, by, by the Taliban. Uh, it has been occupied uncontested by the Taliban. So the Taliban have been in there without any resistance, but now they're moving their units in. Um, essentially, the Taliban can't really fight them, but the question is how much sort of um, damage or you know how, how effective can they be um, in in sort of doing that. One minute, let me just let me just do something. One minute. Okay, so I just made another little modification. Now, essentially, the way that it's working is they've got these objectives, and they're half objectives, so instead of being 50 minus 50, they're 50 zero. So you basically just got to get this up to 50, from zero to 50, instead of from minus 50. So, in theory, the Taliban could sort of take these and restore them back to whatever colour their side would be. Um, but they're never, never going to do that. But you've got to sit there for quite a few turns, 50, 50 points there, 60 points there. So that's worth one, so it's going to be 50 points, 50 turns. But the thing is, if you can get a few more in there, you can speed it up. Um, first thing, first things first. Um, I think, I have actually played this once and then I start it again. So I'm just going to, basically, this is a semi-vulnerable unit. Now you've got to remember that the units... The, the, the actual the mountains are, give you a times four modifier, so it's pretty good. Um, and, and what I'm going to do is attack it with this irregular unit. He'll be up to five and he'll be at eight, but hopefully, which will be a one to two, so it's not brilliant. In fact, I might do a. Um, let's see how the rocket fire goes. Point nine. Hmm too bad. Okay, so that's 2.2. Still not really enough. My brain doesn't work well enough for me to figure out what that will, what sort of implication that will have. He's actually worth 7.8 now. Uh, he's worth 0.78. Let me get my calculator. Out. 0.78 times 8. Point seven eight times 8. So he's worth 6.24. So I'm still not going to get a 1 to 1 on that with this Taliban unit. And to be quite honest, I think what I'm going to do... Now I'm going to block these forts here with these, these units. Um, and move my... I'm going to try and move my irregular company here around this way. Um, I'm sort of okay here because A, I'll retreat, and B, if he wants to attack me, he's going to have to attack me at a times four multiplier. So it's not simple, but that's that turn. I'm not going to attack him. I did it when I did the last video, I did, and um, I got a 12. <laughs> and it says a 1 to 2. I said, I know that. Okay. But I probably won't get a, good, a chance like that again. Um, We'll get the air support in, and I didn't move that other unit under there. So let's go for this stack here. Okay, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, so we'll look at that. So that puts him down to 1.4. And 1.2, and essentially that sort of air combined air assault will probably pin these down. They're going to have to sit there for a couple of turns now, at the very best, to recover that. Uh, if they decide to sort of start continuing moving forward or continuing doing things, they're not going to recover, and they're going to run the risk of entering, um, you know, this sort of level of depression where they won't be able to recover um, as, as readily. However, what do we want to do? I think we want to move this artillery up. I 
might as well leave them there actually. We're going to move this signal unit, which is basically just infantry, into there. Push these mountain units into there and there. Okay, and here we're going to try an attrition. Now, attrition is something that I do favour for mountain environments. Point two. Well, that was good. That's sort of how attrition works. And the thing is, it's not a lot, but over time that will all add up, especially if he continues to do attrition. So he'll have to sit there to recover that, but it's nothing major. But, you know, attrition, it doesn't really often come up with much, so that might have been lucky, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to carry out attrition across here, see how that works. Oh, I've removed everything, so... Yes, well, I think I fixed that. Um, so essentially I can go across this ford. Now, they're worth two in mountains. It's going to be worth eight. So my attack factor will be five to eight, which is going to be a one to two. Um, so it's really not worth doing an assault, and I can't really. But I can do an attrition, which means there's no risk to me. But it was unsuccessful. Um, so we did an attrition there where we were successful, we got a point two, uh, but we failed with our attrition there. And we're going to do an attrition here. And look, we can't get across the river there, so that works. And again, it would be one to four here, wouldn't it? So, but the attrition is unsuccessful. So that's pretty much that. I'm not sure whether it's worth keeping all these mountain troops over here, but we are now essentially reducing these bases, and they're going the wrong way, look, aren't they? Doesn't matter, we're not going to get that far. I'll have to sort that out as well. Um, let me do that now. Okay, so I've, I've sorted that out, but it won't affect this game, but um, it doesn't matter, we're not going to get that far. Um, but it's all correct now, so if you play it, it will work. So essentially, we're just sitting here trying to capture these bases and not get too much damage from the Taliban units. So we're sort of keeping them back. We've pinned these down with the with the air power. You know, we've done a little bit of damage here. We tried some attrition against these these two units with little effect, and they're hardly going to be sort of striking through there, but. It's now the Taliban turn. We can't move across that, but we can go this way. Okay. Now, what I could do here, although they're, they're going to be worth for they're going to be worth eight now. Eight. The neighbors are noisy tonight. I don't think there's going to be much chance going here. It's only going to be a 1 to 2 across there. Let's see what we can do here. Now, he did have some depression, so he shouldn't have really have done that. We've got some depressions on that. Let's see how this rocket fire comes in. Here's the one that's not depressed. One. So it puts him at three point two and zero. Can I attack? Hmm. 
It was worth six before. I can never remember how this works. Let's just try some attrition with this turn. Oh, look at that. 0.4 on both of them. Now that was good. Okay, so we're saving him. We're not... Well, we might as well go for some attrition here. Nothing. We've used that. We got this Taliban unit here that, amazingly enough, could go into there. I didn't see that. I, I can never see. I never cease to amaze myself at how interesting such small little scenarios can be. I mean, that that's just striking because I didn't spot that. I mean, I know it's not the Western Front or anything like that, you know, or the Eastern Front or whatever, but. It's like you still got to think. And look, I've got this stress, this this thing there. I mean, that basically allows me to divide his forces into two. So you, you know, that was something that I wouldn't make that mistake again. And, and getting that Taliban unit out of there is going to be difficult. The road has now been cut by the Taliban. Unbelievable. Now we can't get across this river, but. Yep, 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 we can try some attrition. Nothing. There's a lot of units in there. We didn't done that, haven't we? Okay, well that's that, I think. Don't have any movement there. Well, I think the French and the Afghan forces are going to be rather frustrated with that. And they're not going to have to maintain their air assaults on this rocket unit, which is going to now going to recover. This unit has moved, so we won't be able to recover. But we've got this rogue unit here now, and a serious threat now against this uh, this stack. So I think first thing first things first, we possibly be able to destroy that let's see and the, th the, n the nice thing about this whole scenario is it's so small and, and, and nitty but it, it's still quite I don't know in, in, in intense in the sense that um, you're doing a lot of slow motion type combat where the attrition factors are probably your best bet and I can imagine it could take quite a while but I think that sort of sums up the sort of the slow pace and of, of probably what was happening when you got these irregular units just in the mountains taking firing mortars at you and long sniper rounds and whatever and I think there's sort of some I'm not saying we simulated here but it's not too far off how I feel it should be being played so we just don't know all our air, air assaults on that for one depression factor basically but we do have artillery so we'll use that this could be quite effective. Yep. Yep, okay. This is 3.7. Let's see what we can do here. That's only going to move one, isn't it? Yep, okay. Okay. Now, I think we can stick keep them there. We still want to keep that guy there to protect that forward. We don't want to make the same mistake we did down here by leaving that forward open. But, now he's going to be worth 8 in the mountains. And the most we can get against him is 3, 4, 5. So that, that was really, really crap. And so we're going to have to, essentially, in 15 minutes, do an attrition roll. 15 seconds, sorry. Let's see what we can do. Nothing. So that, as you can see, a lot happens. Um, I hope that excites you and I'll speak to you later.